Oh, hello, listeners. Uh, guess what I'm doing this week? You won't believe this, right? Uh, you know Mr Gallagher? Oh, well, you probably don't know him. Mr Gallagher, right? He's got his own private zoo. Well, he's gone over to Ireland because he's got family trouble, you see. And guess who he's left looking after his zoo? Yeah, that's right, me. Except it's dead boring, right? It was all right the first day, but after that it got a bit boring. So I've uh, advertised in there, the local paper for uh, help wanted, you know, to help me with the zoo and I'm just waiting to interview uh, the first applicant well, the only applicant, actually Mr L.F. from Timbley should be here now I said three o'clock, blink, innit? <laughs> this will be him now right <laughs> just adjust me picture I keep him waiting, I say wonder if I'll get on with him Yes, and enter. Oh, bloody, what are you doing here, little Frank? I'm coming to do an interview thing. Oh, no, I'm with... Oh, it's not you, is it? Oh, is this the zoo? Yes, it is the zoo. What are you doing? Oh, are you the applicant? Ella? Oh, blimey. Is there any more outside waiting? Oh, no, there's only me. Oh, blimey, saddle with you. Right, well, you'll have to do... Hey, do you like zoos, little Frank? Oh, I don't know anything about... Right, I'll teach it. Take you five minutes to learn it, right? Then you can do it till Mr Gallagher comes back. All right? All right. Right, come on. Off we go. Let's go in there feed the poisonous snakes. Come on. It's Radio Tiffany. Right, you hold the door while I get the food and uh, bring it in. Oh, no, I'm not going in there with poisonous snakes. Oh, get in. They're dead harmless. I've been going in for six days and they haven't bitten me yet. Well, they did first day. But after that, they've been dead dormant. They just lie there all the time with their mouths open, with their tongue out, just looking at you dead stupid. Come on, come in. They're all right. Look, there's one. See it? Oh, yes, is it going to strike? No, kick it. Here, get that stick and knock it on its head. That's it, look. See? You know, he likes it. Look, he's smiling at you. Right, uh, here, mind out and I'll put the food down. Oh, do you think you should feed them on that? Well, not exactly. Well, he, le he left instructions, right, that um, I had to feed him insects, right? So I went down to uh, the insect house on the first day, got all the insects, and they loved them. They scoffed them down. But then there was no insects, so I've had to uh, give them this. But they love it. Oh, why haven't they eaten it for the last five days, then? Just a minute, how many zoos have you run? Um, none at all. Right, well listen, I'm telling you, snakes love lasagna, because lasagna is French for food of the snakes, right? So if I say that's what they eat, that's what they eat, all right? Oh, yes, plus. Right, come on, let's go and do the panic house now. It's Radio Tiffany. Right, here you are, pass me that tape so we can change it. What do you mean? Well, that's what we're doing in here. We're changing the tape for the parrot house. What do you mean, tape for the parrot house? Well, look, parrots don't really talk, right? So I thought what we could do is have a tape going uh, to fool the general public. Well, it's a private zoo, though. Mr Gallagher doesn't allow the public in. I know. Sh Listen, we can make a few quid, right, before he comes back, because I'm opening up next week, right? Just give us the tape, will you? Right, stick it on. See, you look, it just looks like they're saying that, don't they? Brilliant, eh? <laughs> oh, they don't laugh, parrots. No, that's the hyenas. I'm uh, clearing their yard out at the moment, so I've put them in here with the parrots. Good, eh, isn't it? Very sort of uh, African flavour, isn't it, and everything? <laughs> what do they find funny, eh, them two? Meanwhile, over at the man eating tiger house. Right, have you found the door yet? Oh, yes, is it this door here? Yes, right, get in! Just throw the food in and get out fast! Why, what's in here? Um, anteater. A what? Oh, you know, an anteating fist thing or something with teeth. Just chuck the food in and get out, sharpish. Oh, hold on, it says something over the door. It says, no, don't read that! It says danger, um, man eating tiger. Does it say puppet eating? Oh no, it doesn't say. Just get the bolts off the door, get in there, chuck the food in, and get out, will you? Well, the bolts, the bolts are already open. Well, get in there, sharpish. The door 
doors open in fact, big fan. Eh? The doors open? What do you mean the doors open? Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Right, uh, the job's yours. I'll be in the office if you want me. Uh, and your first assignment is uh, catch that ant-eating fish with big claws. <laughs> Yeah! See you next week! It's Radio Tiffany, and I think you'll all agree that I am great on the radio. Well, now it's time and I've got to go. But please tune in to next week's show on Radio Tiffany. Thank you. Radio Tiffany, and I am a material girl. Boy, DJ, sorry. Thank you. That's it. Get through there, sir. Fantastic tickets to see the private zoo. Animals never before seen in um, Tipley, actually. I don't think you should be doing this, you know, Big Frank, letting the public in. Like, Shut up, you. We're making loads of money. Do something useful. Go and get that phone, will you? Right. Roll up. Get yourself a big stick for an extra 50p to pop the animals. Uh, doing all right. How much have we got now? It's about £100. Million, eh? Will you get the phone, little Frank? It's in the office, stupid. Not anywhere near the elephant house. <sighs> Lordy. Roll up. Get a big stick. Get your ticket. Get round the zoo before it closes when Mr Gallagher gets back. Frank, it's Mr Gallagher on the telephone. Oh, Mr Gallagher. Uh, tell him uh, we're closed, right? Definitely not open to the public. And tell him not to worry anything about the elephant, right? What's up with the elephant? Just tell him not to worry about the elephant. Nobody's brought it back yet. You know, we had it out on Monday for a day. Well, he's still not come back. And you don't want me to tell him? No, don't tell him. Makes me sick. Him. Right, uh, oh, let's go in there. Organise. Throw in the coconuts at the monkeys. It's Radio Zippoli. Brilliant. Hello, listeners. As you can see, it's all go today down at Mizzou here. Brilliant. Eh? I'm making loads of money. And Mr Gallagher doesn't know, because he's over in Ireland. I'm looking after his private zoo. And he... Hey, you kids! Just put that hippopotamus down, will you? Put it down! Yeah, put it... Yes, that one. Well done, then. Put it down, will you? Right. Hey, go on. Clear it off. Right, they could be very cruel to animals, can't they, kids? Right, here we are at the monkey house. OK! Get your coconuts, kids, to throw at the monkeys. No! Monkeys, I said, not me. Ow! Oh! The dog, clear off the lot of you. Right, where's little Frank got to? Oh, here he comes now. Oh, you're in big trouble. Why, what do you mean I'm in big trouble? Oh, you know that uh, lion? Yes, what about it? Well, it's not come back yet. Oh, blimey, they're all going round there. Quick, go and get that dog them kids had and uh, put me mum's fur coat on it quick and get it in the cage with the others or we've had it. It's Radio Tiffany. Oh, that looks pathetic, that. Is that the best you can do? Oh, sorry, big friend, but I can only find this out west. Well, that looks nothing like a blinking lion now, but it'll have to do because here comes the crowds. Right, you take it in and I'll go up and see what you look like with it. Well, I'm not going in there. There's big monsters in there and lions and... Go on, here's 10p extra. Get in there. I'll go up top and look. That's it. Get in. I need to the crowns now. Oh, look at him getting in there. Oh, blimey, here comes big monster now. <laughs> Roll up. Uh, see, 25 ventriloquist puppet with lions and a dog with Southwester. Stay still, little fuck. We'll harm you. That's it. Stay still. Oh, don't. I don't like it down here. No, no, just stay. Roll up, this is brilliant, this. I wish you could see it. Roll up and see Ventriloquist Puppet. Torn limb from, well, cardboard from limb. Oh, I don't like this. You've had it when Mr Gallagher gets back tomorrow. What do you mean, get back tomorrow? Gets back tomorrow. Wah! It's Radio Tiffany. And I think you'll agree. That's a upgrade on the radio. Well, now it's time and I've got to go. Please tune in to next week's show on Radio Simply. Thank you. Radio Simply goes all around the world. Radio Simply. And I am a material girl. Oh, DJ, eh? <laughs> Will you turn that off, little Frank? I can't concentrate at all. Right.
Right, let's have a look then. So I made just over £200, so with the new budget, that's what, 25p in the pound tax. So I'm about, um, more than, oh, oh well, £150 up on the deal up to now, and we've closed the zoo, haven't we? Oh yes, we've closed the zoo. Right, so uh, we're in profit, brilliant, eh? What about the losses from the zoo? Oh yes, what's that then? What's that add up to? Well, up to now, the, uh, the lion hasn't come back. Right, lion, what should we put that as? Two quid, eh? Um, the entire reptile house is dead. Oh yes, entire reptile house dead, a quid. Um, ant eaters and uh, ants. Ant eaters and accessories, let's say 50p. Um, all the insects eaten by the snakes on the first day. Oh yes, snakes eat the insects 10p. You can get them anywhere, can't you? Um, hey, what about the rhino? Has that come back yet? Oh yes, the rhino was back. Oh good, so we're showing a profit on the rhino. Have you washed it yet? Oh no, I can't get near it. Oh, just muscle in there, will you? Just wash it, will you? Which pen did you use to write on it? I used that pen there, didn't I? That's indelible ink. Oh, just get in and wash the rhino, will you? It's only a white one. They're rare or something. Right, uh, what about hyenas? How are we doing with them? Oh, we're showing a profit on hyenas. But profit on hyenas? Uh, hey, we only had two to start with. How come we're showing profit? Well, come with me and I'll show you. It's Radio Zippoli. Right, let's open the door to the hyena pen. <laughs> oh, blinking it, where's all them hyenas come from, little fan? Well, you know we had two last week. Yes, I know we had two last week. Well, you said put them in together, didn't you? Yes, I did say put them in together. Well, um, one's a man hyena and the other's um, a madame hyena. Yeah, well, what are you saying? Where's the rest come from? Oh, I'm going to have to have a long talk with you about the birds and the bees. Uh, and hyenas as well, please. Thank you. Right. Oh, what are we going to do about the armadillo? Oh, blam, I'd forgotten all about that. Right, you go and get your uh, toolkit and I'll meet you at the armadillo tank. It's Radio Zippoli. Right, you're going to have to change that, yeah. You want a bit off there, otherwise. Yeah. That's, That's it. it. Get it a bit shorter. Because it wasn't like that, the other one, was it? Right. Now, can you sort of uh, lengthen that a bit? That's it, yeah. Put, a bit, put another bit on there. Extend that slightly. Right, a bit off uh, the underneath. Yeah, they're not that big underneath, are they, armadillos? Right. Oh, it looks a bit sort of weasel like that, doesn't it? It wants a bit round the eyes. Yeah, that's better. They don't have eyes like that, do they? Right. That's looking uh, pretty good now. I'm sure uh, Mr Gallagher will uh, pass that off as the original armadillo we had. What's it? When, anyway, when's he back in the morning, is it? Oh yes, how's he coming back? Oh, he always travels by uh, taxi, doesn't he? Yeah, definitely. Always taxi, because he's got his own taxi. In fact, every time you see him, he's always in a taxi. Or a hovercraft. Oh, is it a red hovercraft? No, red taxi it is. Oh, does he drive erratically? Oh yes, he does drive erratically, actually. Is this him now? Oh yes, it is. Oh yes, it is! Blimey, get out of the way, little flag! <laughs> his lion. Anyway, he's gone now, the lion back in the taxi. Oh, Frank's gone. I can't find him anywhere. Oh, I'll have a look over here. Boo! <laughs> oh, you scared me then. Where have you been for the last week? I've been doing things, haven't I? What have you been up to? 
What men with that lion? What lion? You know, the one that came in the taxi. Oh, did Mr. Gallagher bring a lion? No, it was just a lion in the taxi. Oh, was it now? Well, where's it now then? Because we need that back in the pen. Oh, it's gone back in the taxi. Oh, blimey. Anyway, where have you been? Oh, I've been there. Uh, down at the bat house. Oh, what have you been doing there? I've been there uh, taunting bats, haven't I? I ate them bats. Brilliant it is. I go up right up to the mesh and go, Bats! You're bobbins! <laughs> Brilliant, eh? When do I the note? Right. What note? What do you mean, here's the note? What note's this? Who's this from? Oh, it's from Mr Gallagher. Well, where'd you get this from? Oh, that lion brought... Hey, just a minute. Why are you talking in that stupid voice? Because you've got a cold. Oh, yes, I have. Right, let's have a look at the note from Mr Gallagher. Dear Frank and his puppet, make sure the zoo is okay and do not forget the MWA. Oh, no, I mustn't forget that, eh, little Frank? Oh, what's that? You know, MWA, where have you been for the last uh, million years? On another planet or something? MWA, have you not heard of that? Oh, no, I've not. What's that? Uh, Miss Wet Armadillo contest, you know. Where's that armadillo, anyway, that you altered? Oh, it's in its pen. Right, well, we're entering it on uh, Sunday. Oh, what's that then, exactly? Oh, Miss Wet Armadillo, it's like um, Crufts, but it's not like as hard to rig, you know what I mean? Oh, where's that on at? It's on at, uh, you know, G's in Manchester. Oh, G's, where's that? You know G's, that uh, big place that used to be called G-Mex and now they've turned it into, like, a uh, disco thing. You know, with all plastic plants and everything. Have you not been there? It's all the rage. Everybody goes there now. Monday nights, they have uh, free and easy night. Have you not been to that? It's brilliant, right? Uh, you can go in, right? And they let you go on the stage. And they don't even charge you. That's why it's free. And it's dead easy for me because I'm a brilliant star. And on Tuesdays, right, they have um, the East Timberley uh, Ladies Darts Team. Have you seen them playing that in G's? Brilliant. And they have sewing in the corner, obviously. Wednesday, they have um, Talent Night. That's good. Uh, Thursday, semi-nude night. Friday is that uh, hip-hop trouble funk rapping uh, with country and western. If he uh, bothers to show his face again, that is. Uh, and um, on Sunday, it's uh, uh, Miss Wet Armadillo. Oh, what do they do on Saturday nights? I don't know. I'm barred on there Saturday. Not allowed in. So you go and get the armadillo and I'll meet you over by the sea lions. It's No, 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 Uncle Frank has no more fish for you, so you just have to get lost, right? Anyway, where's little Frank? I said sea lions five minutes ago. Oh, yes, no, you're not having any more fish. Go on, get lost. Hey, look, sea lions, there's a plane somewhere. Can you hear it? Hey, where is it? I can't see it. Oh, it's probably invisible plane, sea lions, eh? Hey, where's this plane? Hey, hold on, it's all... Hey, look at that, it's a red taxi, sea lions, look over there. Hey, it's not got any wheels on it, has it? Hey, brilliant, it's a hovercraft, look, red hovercraft. Hey, little Frank's driving it, brilliant. This way, little Frank, over here. Hey, hey, no, don't come too close. Hey, you'll scare the Thompson's gazelles. Hey, get lost, little, little Frank, look, heel gazelles. Whoa, whoa, gazelle. Ah, oh no, they're getting out of my bed. Ah! Get off, Frank! Round them up, quick! No! You can't have any more fish! Get lost, you! Ah! Ah! Help! Go! Get lost! Hey, gazelles! Back in here! Will you get down, sea lions? You know, I've any more fish! You had some first week was here, get... Let go, Frank! Will you move that hovercraft away from here? Frank, no! Don't mention it. Radio! You don't get that with all the discos, do you? You get like an echo in here, don't you? Yeah, I like it. This is it. All go here. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hello, Frank Cybot man. You know where I am, don't you? Jeez. The centre of the universe. Well, centre of Manchester. Brilliant. It's all go. You know the old GMX place that they've done up now. Yes. Look at them. Milling in for Miss Wet Armadillo. Brilliant. Well, little Frank will be here with the prize winning armadillo soon. Mr. Gallagher's, yeah.
I hope, I hope it does pass, because, uh, well, as you know, we've altered it slightly. That is illegal, actually. It is little. Ah! Little Fred! Over here! Brilliant. Hey, so that's how we smuggled it in. It's in a pram. Get over here, little Fred! Come on! Ah, he's in there, is he? Oh, yes, he is in there. He's brilliant, say. That's how you smuggled him in. Well, I just walked through the doors before nobody said anything. Brilliant, say. Right, um, do you want to uh, wet it, then? Wet what? You know, I'll take it over near the tap, get a bit of extra water up now. I don't think you can do that, big friend. Yes, yes, get it over near the... Right, give it to me, I'll get... Oh, it's wet already! What's happened here? I don't know. Hey, little Frank, you know where um, Armadillo's skin is supposed to be like dead rough, isn't it? Oh, yes, it is actually. Well, this is like dead smooth, isn't it? Oh, is there an armadillo in there? Now look! Oh, blimey! It's Mrs. Merton's baby! Oh, yes, where's the armadillo? No, there is no armadillo! Oh, blimey! Oh, well, I had to babysit today. You're supposed to be bringing the armadillo. Where is it? I thought you had the armadillo. No, I sent you to the zoo for the armadillo. We're supposed to be entering it for Mr. Gallagher. Oh, blimey. Well, I did go down to the zoo. Well, why didn't you bring it back? Well, you know, the uh, adjustments we were made. Yeah. Well, you know, like you said it went right. Yeah, it did. It was perfect. It would pass. It was absolutely uh, to the millimetre. The perfect armadillo. I think about uh, just a bit too much off because it slipped through the... I told you! I told you you took too much off! Blimey, we've lost the armadillo now! And shut that baby up, will ya? Uh, could you shut up, baby, please? Thank you. Uh, so what am I going to do now? Oh, well, don't look now, big friend. But guess who's coming up behind you? Oh, that's all I need now. Jeremy Beadle, what's he going to do? Do some uh, fantastic joke that makes me laugh. Well, well, I don't find that very funny. No, it's worse than... Oh, Cellar Black! Well, no, I don't want her either. No, no, it's worse than... Oh, it'll be Mrs. Merton, won't it? She'll have heard the baby. No, no, no. It's worse than that, big friend. Worse than that? What, what could be worse? Right, don't tell me. No, I want to guess. Right, go on, give us a clue. Um, he's very big. Um, he's got a shillelagh. He's come back from Ireland, and he's got um, a zoo. Yes, and? That's it, that's your clue. Oh, blimey, not getting it away. Now, let me think. He's got, uh, what? Well, what you say? He's got a zoo. Uh, oh, he's got a zoo. Um, Frank. Shh, I'm trying to think, I'm doing a quiz thing. Right, he's got uh, a zoo, and he's come back from where? Ireland. Who do we know? Frank. Shh, sure, I'm trying <laughs> Oh, Mr. Gallagher! Ha, ha, diddly da. Hey, Shillelagh! Brilliant, let's have a go! Diddly da, diddly Hey, come back from me! Oh, brilliant, say! Uh, how do you get on with your uh, relations? You know the ones that. Fine! Uh, uh, where's the armadillo, little fag? Show him! God! Show him the armadillo! Hey, you know, um, you know, you know, like nine tenths of the law is possession who's got it or something, and they're responsible. And who had it last is responsible for it. Well, who had it last? Little fag had it last. So give him the armadillo, will ya? If any yeah. harm... Listen, listen to Mr. Gallagher. If any harm... Go on, continue. If any harm any has harm. come to that armadillo... Arma oh, I... armadillo! I thought you said Thompson Gazelle. I said armadillo. Armadillo! Are you listening? You had the armadillo last. Give it in. Go on. No, you had it last. Oh, yes, I had uh, Hey! No, it's safe, it's safe, Mr. Gallagher. The armadillo is not altered and totally safe. Safe-ish. Yes, safe-ish. Totally safe-ish, yeah. Wonderful creature, the armadillo, uh, Mr. Callaghan. A uh, bit weasel-like, have you noticed? You know, around the eyes. Could do it just like a bit off. Do you I not... don't think so. Can you get it out? Right, yes, get it out. In fact, what's the time, little Frank? Oh, look, we've missed it now. By the time we get back to Tibbling, get it from the zoo and get it back here, we'll have missed it, Mr. Gallagher. Right. Better luck next year. There's always next year with such fantastic, unaltered armadillo. No problem, Frank. I'm in the second heat tonight. What? You're in the second heat? I am. Oh, blimey! I'll get the van. I'll meet you round the front. Hey, right, right, yeah. Oh, you have it now. I'm not scared of him, me. In fact... When he comes back, right? In fact, I've had, I've had enough of that zoo. I've been there four weeks now. In fact, when he comes back, I'm going to tell him straight to his face that... Hey, I get a move on, Frank. I, I, 
Hey, come, come here, Mr. Guy. Hey, give us that shit in a minute. Let's have another go. We've had it now next week. It's Lady Hope's Zip Police. And I think you'll agree that I have great on the radio. But now it's time and I'm not to go. So please tune in to next week's show on Radio Simply. Thank you. Radio Simply. And I am a material girl boy. DJ, say. Thank you. Hello, listeners. Uh, Frank here, actually, with little Frank in the back of Mr. Gallagher's van, headed back to the zoo. And uh, I think we're in big trouble when we get there when he finds out what I've done. In fact, uh, hey, I'll tell you what, little Frank. When we get there, you get the armadillo and I'll explain to you. In fact, here we come now. Right. What in the name of thunder's been going uh, on here? Uh, uh, well, well, you see, uh, little Frank, you go and get the armadillo, right? And I'll explain to Mr Gallagher about the zoo. Right, I'll, I'll explain about the zoo in a second. But first of all, uh, let me tell you about the armadillo. Wait till you see that, right? Because it's even better than it was before. Just a minute. Who's yeah. done that to the elephant house? Yeah, uh, yes, who indeed has done that to the... I'll tell you who's done that. Little Frank, honestly, uh, Mr Gallagher, I didn't do anything. Little Frank did that all on his own and I told him not to. And where's the lion? Yes. Exactly, where's the lion? Hey, hey, I'll tell you what, let me hold the shillelagh and I'll give him a good old whack with it. In fact, you can do it because you're an expert, can't you? Yeah, where is the lion? Yes, it's just not come back in that taxi at all. Who's painted the elephant that colour? I know. I told him. I told him that shade of elephant uh, was no good at all. And, and, and ask me about the hyenas, eh? What about them, eh? Tell me about the hyenas, Frank. Yeah, exactly. Right, you know you had two hyenas? Yeah. Just have a look in here. <laughs> about four million, eh? What do you think of that? Brilliant. In fact, here comes little Frank now. Here's your shillelagh. Go on. Hey, little Frank, come here with that armadillo. Right, eh? Uh, Tell him about the snakes, will you, little Frank? Oh, yes, you know the snakes, Mr Gallagher. They're all dead. Oh, yes, they're all dead, thanks to you, little Frank. In fact, here's your shillelagh, eh, Mr Gallagher. Give him a good old whack. Dilly eye nine. Ah! What are you hitting me for? I left you in charge of the zoo. Yeah. But behind my back, you brought little Frank in to help. Eh, hey, well, he's not helped. He's ruined everything for you. He's done wonders to my establishment. Wonders? What do you mean? Look at that elephant house. I spent years trying to catch all that natural essence of its habitat. Oh, yes. Brilliant. Habitat, yes. And the lion. Yeah, what about the lion? I've been trying to get rid of it for years. It's been eating me out of house and hovercraft. Oh, yes, hovercraft. Oh, what about the elephant? What about the colour of that, eh? Oh, what about the hyenas? What about the hyenas? Well, you had two and now look how many you've got. I've been trying for years to breed hyenas. Hey, you can't say uh, breed on the radio, can you? Oh, yes, I think you can. Oh, can you now? Right, well, what about the snakes, eh? That's all little Frank's fault. They're dead. Uh, thank you very much, little Frank. Here's an unlimited amount of money for you to spend until oh. your cardboard heart's delight. Oh, thank you very much. What do you mean, uh, unlimited money? For... Hey, what about me? I did things as well. Hey, hey, look at the armadillo, eh? I altered that myself, because we lost your original. In fact, I chiseled it down. Bit weasel-like, but... Oh, did you now? Oh, yes, I did. Well, take this. Thank you. <laughs> Don't you ever 